Hello everyone. Let me quickly walk you through today's agenda. Today we'll begin with the executive summary to set the stage. I'll then cover supply line with essentials for CO2 and GHG reduction, balancing cost, reliability, and decarbonization, plus how SESCA helps close data gaps. Chidi will return with stakeholders analysis, followed by a keen on competitive advantage and continuous monitoring. Nuri will address global standards, procurement links, and AI's role in risk management. Finally, Akini will conclude and Nuri will share the recommendation. Here, I'll be talking about the executive summary. Metalid aims for net zero by 2050. By achieving it, it requires tighter coordination with high impact suppliers like ExxonMobil, Beckert, and Duke Energy. Our solution introduces a supplier chain sustainability cooperation agreement that aligns targets, unify data, and links performance to incentives, creating a transparent, low carbon supply network that accelerates Metalid's sustainable goals. On this slide, we'll be talking about why the supply alignment or CO2 GHG reduction is critical. Because most emissions occur in supply chains beyond a company's direct control. Without alignment, reporting falls, risk rise, and decarbonization stalls. Michelin operates in 170 countries, and its decarbonization depends heavily on suppliers. They cut for steel, exact mobile for synthetic rubber, and petrochemicals, and Duke Energy for electricity in North America. Because these suppliers operate in different regions with different emission profile, Aligning their reduction targets is essential to maintain consistency across Michelin's gold network. Our mapping shows mixed supply alignment. Baker has strong SBTI validated production. ExxonMobil targets net zero but lacks scope 3 transparency. And Duke Energy supports scope 2 with clean energy plan. In Michelin's production flow, suppliers influence every stage from raw materials prep to compounding, curing, inspection, and logistics. Misalignment at any point increases emissions, wastes energy, and disrupts sustainability targets. Aligning suppliers ensures the whole value stream moves toward low carbon and higher efficiency. We will talk about product development process and circular economy. Alignment must begin early during product development, circular material prototyping, life cycling testing, renewable powered pilot runs, and green quality control plan ensure the emission reduction are built into the tire before it reaches full production. On this slide, we'll be shedding light on strategic levers for decarbonization. Global supply chain must cut emissions quickly without losing efficiency. Low carbon materials and renewable cost more upfront but deliver savings, credits and compliance. PPAs and green loans ease cost while dual sourcing and digital platforms boost reliability. Together, these levers balance cost, reliability and sustainability. Decarbonization is not one size fits all. It's all about balancing cost, reliability and speed. Cost strategies maximize ROI. Reliability ensures stable operations and speed drives bold renewables. Michelin shows this with ExxonMobil on carbon capture. They cut on low carbon steel and Duke Energy on renewables, aligning ambitions with supplier strength. To reach net zero, companies must close supplier gaps in ambitions and readiness. Michelin's gap analyze highlights differences in targets and verification. Solutions include harmonizing with SBTI milestones, adding GHG metrics to scorecards and joint investment funds. Together, these actions create a unified path to net zero by 2050. Closing gaps ensure credibility and accelerates progress. We will do fishbone analysis of carbon accounting. Let's start with why supplier carbon accounting often breaks down. Different data system, reporting standards, and national policies create inconsistencies. Smaller suppliers lack verification tools or financing, leading to unreliable data and misaligned targets. Michelin's SCSCA framework harmonizes boundaries, targets, and data quality, building trust and transparency. This accelerates progress towards net zero. Let's focus on supporting Michelin's transition. Now, how does Michelin move to a science-based emission system? The SESCA units, ExxonMobil, Duke Energy, and Baker. ExxonMobil commits to a net zero scope, one and two. Duke Energy ensures traceable renewables, and Baker sets clear reduction targets with technical training. Together, they align GHS goals and strengthen verification. Partnership drives Michelin's net zero path. Now, on this slide, let's talk about SESCA agreement framework. Finally, let's look at how the agreement itself drives cooperation, covering purposes, confidentiality, sustainable development, government's data, accountability, and enforcement. The SCSCA ensures transparency and ethical action. By aligning standards and responsibilities, it builds trust and collective momentum. Shared frameworks strengthen cooperation and credibility. Lean must sustainable engage key stakeholders through collaboration and transparency. Leadership sets carbon goals. Procurement embeds sustainability in supplier selection and operations drive efficiency. R&D innovates low carbon materials, while suppliers, customers, and retail partners co-create green solutions. Investors push ESG performance and NGOs ensure discussing the stakeholders' position. Leadership drives carbon goals, 
Procurement embeds sustainability in supplier choices. Operations improve efficiency. R&D innovates low carbon materials. Suppliers, customers, investors, they all align on AESG targets, while NGOs ensure transparency. Stakeholder salience hinges on power, legitimacy, and urgency. Leadership and investors hold high power and urgency. Suppliers and customers are critical for implementation, while NGOs provide legitimacy, accountability, prioritizing these groups, ensure effective and efficient decarbonization. Goodyear's experience shows the cost of poor supplier alignment, deforestation, human rights issues, and a collapse of sustainable commitments driven by weak oversight. For Michelin, the lesson is clear. Net zero goals only work when suppliers are fully aligned, built on transparency, verified accountability, and strict environmental and social standards. Michelin can avoid this risk and ensure every supplier supplies supports its net zero ambition. Competitive advantages. By embedding supply GAG alignment and verification into their operations, companies like Michelin build a stronger supply network. Verified data across suppliers minimizes risks and boosts efficiency. Why collaboration drives innovation in renewable energy. This strategy not only cuts long-term costs, but also enhances investors' confidence and market access. By staying ahead of regulations and reinforcing the sustainability leadership, taking a step further to show the benefits it's time to gain using the VRIM framework, Michelin's sustainability goal becomes a sustained competitive advantage because it meets all frame model elements, valuable, reducing emissions while boosting the energy scores, rare, because very few companies have verified scope 3 alignment with suppliers, inimitable, avoiding long-term partnership, shared data platform replication, and not substitutable as the strategy delivers a combined impact of compliance, innovation, and reputation, putting Michelin in a sustained competitive advantage. Continuous monitoring is vital because it transforms GAG alignment from one-time targets into an adaptive process. It ensures accountability, maintains data integrity, and it enables fast response to markets or policy shifts. Also, continuous checks are vital as they help maintain reliable data, audit friendly reports, and drive year to year. The loop between commitments and performance. Using the SBTI monitoring and performance framework, Michelin and its suppliers can go through the session for commitments to display and monitor it. Track year over year emission costs, renewable energy share, or natural status. To sustain GAG progress, Michelin can also apply proven continuous improvement frameworks, value stream mapping to pinpoint carbon loss and benchmarking on their performance years. And lastly, put our quality management to integrate verified emission data into everyday quality system, embed the sustainability into the company's operational DNA. To sustain GAG progress, Michelin can also apply proven continuous improvement frameworks. Thank you, Akendeli. Global standards rule. Global standards such as the GSG protocol, ISO 14064, ISO 20400, the science-based targets initiative, and GRI from the backbone of Michelin's decarbonization journey. They ensure that every emission measured across Michelin and its suppliers is consistent, transparent, and verifiable. Michelin's net zero strategy follows a three-phase roadmap, discovery, planning, and execution. In the discovery phase, Michelin conducts research, identifies emission hotspots across the scopes 1, 2, and 3, and gathers supply data aligned with the GHG protocol. The planning phase defines reduction targets for 2030 and 2050, assigns responsibilities across plants and suppliers, and establishes verification systems using ISO standards. Finally, in the execution phase, Michelin implements renewable energy programs, monitors supplier progress through the SESEA collaboration, and reports annually under GRI and the Carbon Data Platform. Requirement must link emissions performance with sourcing decisions through five guardrails, verified data, fair transition periods, transparent reporting, ethical compliance, and balance rating. Together, these principles create a responsible data-driven procurement framework that upholds Michelin sustainability commitments. This slide shows how Michelin evaluates supplier emissions using two methods, location-based, which reflects each region's grid mix, and market-based, which accounts for renewable energy sourcing under the Supplier Carbon Smart Collaboration Agreement. This final slide presents Michelin's integrated KPI and scorecard dashboard which evaluates suppliers across five key performance areas, cost efficiency, quality, delivery, 
emission performance, and sustainability verification. In summary, ExxonMobil stands as a balanced performer, cost-efficient with solid quality. Beaker excels in quality but needs to strengthen its emission reduction. Duke Energy achieves strong decarbonization but must improve cost efficiency. These insights Michelin to make data-driven supplier decisions, ensuring that sustainability, quality, and cost efficiency progress together under its global net zero strategy. Artificial intelligence can add significant value in sustainability management by enhancing accuracy, speed, and insight. It automates data collection and synthesis from sources like carbon disclosures and audits. AI also strengthens transparency through dashboards, supports innovation in materials and logistics, and reduces manual reporting costs, making carbon data more reliable, consistent, and actionable. While AI brings efficiency, it also introduces risks, such as bias or incomplete data, over reliance projections, and potential security breaches. To mitigate this, Michelin must enforce third-party data verification, apply explainable AI to ensure transparency, and combine algorithms with expert human review. Strong encryption, controlled access, and continuous model retraining will sustain data accuracy as its standards and regulations evolve. In conclusion, Michelin's journey towards net zero is not just a corporate target, it's his supply chain transformation. Our analysis shows that true decarbonization happens where suppliers move in sync under shared accountability, transparent data, and adaptive improvements. Yes. Through the SESCA framework, driving for success is one, two, and three, and three. Consumers monitoring ensures that progress is not just to pleasure, but sustained. Using SBTI dashboards, quarterly ESG reporting, and verification under ISO 14064. Complementary tools like PDCA, Linsic Sigma, and cases keep the momentum alive, eliminating inefficiency and embedding GHG performance in every day that it is. By institutionalizing continuous improvements, Michelin doesn't just reduce emission, it builds a competitive edge, grounded in reliability, innovation, and stakeholder confidence. This is how Michelin leads the road to a truly sustainable net zero future. Next is Marilyn, take us through the recommendation. Thank you, Akandeli. The SWOT analysis shows that Michelin's threat lies in its strong supplier partnerships. However, challenges remain in emission data accuracy, high investment costs, and limited digital integration. Global green incentives create opportunities, while stricter regulations and market volatility pose key risks. Our team applied a weighted multi-criteria decision analysis to evaluate six recommendations across emission impact, cost, feasibility, data integrity, and strategic alignment. From analysis to action, our recommendations turn SWOT and MCDA insights into targeted strategies that align suppliers, enhance collaboration, and accelerate Michelin's path to net zero 2050. Michelin's long-term strategy integrates these initiatives under a holistic approach, combining technology, innovation, collaboration, and accountability across the entire value chain. First, it is threatened supplier carbon alignment by expanding the SESCA agreement, mandating third-party verification, and ensuring transparent, auditable carbon data. Second, it balances costs, reliability, and speed of decarbonization through dual sourcing, green financing, and data-driven prioritization. Third, it integrates continuous improvement supported by real-time dashboards, benchmarking, and innovation-driven research. Fourth, collaboration is reinforced that promotes verified partnerships, accountability, and transparency. Finally, Michelin applies AI responsibly, enhancing data accuracy, predictive analytics, and secure data management. This strategy reminds us that achieving net zero is both an organizational mission and an individual responsibility. Through innovation, research, and collective action, Michelin and its partners lead a unified journey to protect our planet, ensuring a cleaner, smarter, and more sustainable future for all. Thank you.